At Healthcare Partners Medical Group, our mission is to provide the highest quality of healthcare to each and every patient. With five locations in Pahrump, we are local doctors you know and trust. We want to thank you for choosing us. Quality care starts here. News 46 is brought to you by... Healthcare Partners and Humana. News 46 is also brought to you by Southwest Medical Associates. News 46 is also brought to you by Safi of Las Vegas. At Safi, we're more than a foster care and adoption agency. We're working to build stronger families in our communities. Visit our website at safi.org. Tonight on News 46, hundreds apply for the position at the new Denny's restaurant. Southwest Medical Associates hold an open house. And a scooter accident occurs on Highway 160 and 372. News 46 starts now. You're watching KPVM News 46. With Rick Vale and Rhonda Van Winkle. Local coverage from Deanna O'Donnell and News Across Nevada with Janet Eric. News 46, local coverage you can count on. Good evening, it's Thursday, August 4th, 2011. I'm Rick Vale. And I'm Robin Christine for News 46. A career fair was held today in the buffet room of the Prump Nugget for those seeking employment at the new Denny's restaurant set to open for business next month. Yes, ma'am. We're fixing to open up Denny's here where the uh, old Hollywood video used to be. Uh, we're looking at opening up uh, Memorial Weekend. Wow. That's yeah. going to be great. Or Labor Day. Is that right? Yeah. Is yeah. it Labor Day weekend? Yeah. 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 Labor Day weekend. I'm excited. <laughs> so how's the construction going? Have you had a chance to go look at it? Yeah, I actually went in there when I first applied for Denny's, and it looks like they're coming along really good. They were working on the kitchen part, so it don't look like it's going to be very much longer before it's going to be, the doors will be open. This room is packed right now yes. with applicants. Yes. Tell me a little bit about that. How many have you handed out today? So far today, I've handed out over 300 applications, and I just went and made more copies because I think I have another 100 that's wanting to come in and fill out an application. So if you need one, you better hurry up. But if you can't meet us here, uh, they are set up with Job Connect, so you can go out to Job Connect and fill out an application there. Do we know how many positions that we have? I'm really not sure because it is going to be 24 hours, so they're just taking the best and, and seeing what they what they might possibly need, seeing how things work out. Is it best to have experience? I know you have a lot of experience. Are they taking people with no experience? The yes, they're taking people with no experience, such as servers, busboys, hostess, cashier, and little things like that. But as far as cooks, they would prefer to have somebody that has you know, quite a bit of experience because they will be in charge of our food. This is a big deal for this town. Uh, people yes. are excited about Denny's. It kind of, uh, it's going to draw people in. It um, it kind of is establishes us as uh, moving forward. Yes, yes, I'm excited because I think it's going to help this town grow a little bit more too, you know, and, and I know the food's good, so. <laughs> They definitely keep their quality the same across the yes, board. They yes. they have a level that they stay at. I know that uh, this is going on until 5 o'clock today, so this will be over with when everybody's seeing this, but they can go to Job Connect and apply um, for the jobs. Tell me a little bit about uh, how, what's your experience so far with uh, the management and the and the job and, and what's what we're looking forward to there. i tell you what, these managers here are, are super nice. I mean, I met them last Thursday for the first time. And they brought me here to the Nugget and bought me coffee so you know I couldn't have got a better acquainted with them but they have really great you know personalities and they I, I believe people would look forward to going to work for these people yeah Denny's I love to work at Denny's great place a scooter accident on Highway 160 and 372 this afternoon left one man with minor injuries Deanna O'Donnell reports 
I'm here on Highway 372-160 just on Crawford Way where a single vehicle accident occurred early this afternoon. It appears that the moped actually hit the gravel while turning the corner and the driver fell over. He did sustain injuries to his elbow. Two detective vehicles were in the area and pulled over to help the victim of this accident. They called Pahrump Valley Fire and Rescue to the scene. The man declined being transported. He was treated on scene and released. Of course, Nye County Sheriff's deputies will be investigating the cause of this accident, which is appears to be the gravel around the corner of this bend. This is Deanna O'Donnell for News 46. As we head into our first break this evening, here's Ginger Tyro with your First Move Fitness Tip of the Week. Hi, I'm Ginger Tyro with First Move Fitness. I'm a certified personal trainer and a sports nutritionist. This week I want to talk to those of you who may just be getting started with a fitness program or those of you who are thinking about starting a fitness program. If you're not someone who loves to work out and it's not really your thing, then I want to recommend that you start out slow. A lot of people decide to get fit and they make it too hard on themselves in the beginning. They give up and that's it. After a few days or weeks, it's over. I want to help you get started at the right pace and keep it up for you forever. The exercise your body needs is so important for so many reasons. Physically, mentally, it's a necessity. In the past several years, I have seen so many lives change just by doing 30 minutes of exercise three days a week. One elderly gentleman is able to get rid of a wheelchair and a walker that kept him inhibited on a daily basis. Now he walks freely with no assistance. It's obvious he's physically benefited, but can you imagine how much happier he is now? You may think you're stuck, but maybe, just maybe, you're not. Remember, half an hour, a few days a week helped him. So you can start slow too. Don't have enough fingers and toes to count on the number of people I've seen privileged and assist in my years as a personal trainer. I very well can help and may be able to help you. You just gotta come see me at First Move Fitness. I can help you start out slow, and if you need to, I can be there to help and make sure that it's successful, maybe even throw away your wheelchair and walker. But remember, I can't help you if you don't come see me at First Move Fitness because it's where the first move is yours. Welcome back to News 46. Many medical professionals were on hand for the public to meet as well as to get answers to their important health-related questions and concerns. We are uh, bringing our providers, our specialists, and Southwest Medical Associates to the Pahrump community to let them know that we are here on Calvada. We opened our facility on uh, July uh, 18th, and we are happy to have our patients come and see us. It's a wonderful facility. We've got a chance to tour it and everything. How's it going now with the patients uh, uh, coming there? I know that we had on Commerce, you guys had, uh, you know, started there, and uh, we had uh, Dr. Levisur go down there, go down to the Calvada. We've got podiatry there. we got a couple other physicians. How's it going? That's right. We have our specialists coming in uh, to see patients. We have, um, as you can see in our booths here behind me, we have podiatry coming in every other week on Thursdays. Mm -hmm. uh, we will be having uh, our, and, and currently have our nutritionists coming in uh, to counsel patients. Uh, we also have uh, cardiology coming in at, at some point in time. Some of the things that I find that is so special is that you guys come and speak here at The Nugget for different seminars. Very informational, really lets people have a kind of a question and answer event. Yes, that's correct. We would like to bring in the information that, uh, and as a preview to patients, what we have to offer here. So several of the providers will be coming in, as they have already, to give it, uh, medical information, advice uh, to the parent community. Today's event, um, the morning was kind of for members and physicians and everything. Later on, we're going to have a, a little bit of an open house for the basic community. Some of the booths that we have here, what are they about? The booths are informational on the services that we provide. We have cardiology, we have our technology uh, booth uh, for accessing uh, remote uh, internet and into our system uh, so that they can look up their results, uh, exams, appointments, or schedule an appointment, or re uh, inquire through an email to their provider a request of any kind. Uh, we also have our primary care booths that you can uh, meet the providers that are at the Calvada location for Southwest Medical Associates. We have our gynecology services that uh, providers that are here. We have the nutritionist, rheumatology, podiatry, and we would like the community to come here and uh, meet us 
and see what we're all about. Wonderful. And for more information, how can they contact Southwest Medical Associates? Well, I'm glad you asked that because I have a uh, number here that is also on our website. Uh, if you go to SMA, uh, lv.com. That's our general website and we have the numbers to make an appointment, come see us. But uh, I will give this one out to you for Senior Dimensions. It's 1-866-266-0606. Uh, and folks, we'll have interviews with several physicians from Southwest Medical in the coming days. Nathan Edelson Hospice is collecting cans of food for those in need. We spoke to Shelly Helpler to help us find out how you can help. And thank you very much for being able to come down and help us support this. Uh, we are working closely with Mike Drahorn, who is the DAV commander, and we are helping them to collect food for our veterans and their families who um, are homeless currently in our community. And we found this out um, through one of our business development reps um, who found out from Bruce down at the VA clinic <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, about these families that are in need in our community that have no homes and they're veterans. And so we wanted to help from Nathan Adelson Hospice. So we're doing a, fun, a food drive basically for these families. Does it have a beginning and ending date on this? Actually, yes it does. Um, we're starting right now, we're going through August 17th and we are asking uh, for anybody to drop off any uh, canned foods that have pull top lids and um, that are safe to stand in the heat mm -hmm. that we have nowadays mm -hmm. um, so we can deliver it to these families. Is there any other items that you guys are looking for? Um, actually, right now we're just doing the food drive, mm -hmm. but I'm sure um, Mike would be happy if there was any clothing that mm -hmm. I'm sure that these families could use as well. You know, whatever we can do to help the community. I see that we have some stews and some chilies and some tuna, and they all have the pull-top lids, like you said. We're looking for, hopefully, we can get some kind of well-balanced meal. Yes, definitely some well-balanced meals for the families. Um, so whatever you can bring that's non-perishable, mm -hmm. um, because definitely we do not have refrigerators and everything, mm -hmm. and we don't know how long this might be stored. Um, hopefully a very short time. We have a few items right now, but can they drop it off here at Nathan Allison Hospice or other locations as well, or just here is best? Actually, at this time, just um, here at our office, and uh, then we'll get with Mike, and we'll get everything turned over to him. So you can come to 1401 South Highway 160, Suite B, and we're open Monday through Friday, 8 to 4.30 p.m. Wonderful. And are you guys taking any kind of cash donations at all, or you just want the food items? Just food items, please. And for more information, who can they call? They can call our office at 751-6700. Hey parents and kids, it's time to get ready to go back to school. Come to Desert View Hospital Saturday to get a head start. It is. It's going to be at Desert View Hospital from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. this Saturday. This is so important and it's such a great thing that we do every year. What's some of the things that we're going to have? Well, there's all kinds of community services available. Shots for the kids, uh, like I said, immunizations. We have dental screenings, um, all kinds of things. We have partners from throughout the area, not just in Pahrump, but even coming out from Vegas. What's some of the things that people should be prepared to bring with them for this? Do we want birth certificates? I know um, immunization records. You know, I guess the big thing are immunization records. Um, that's going to be something that will be really helpful to have on hand. But really, otherwise, it's just time for children to come out with their parents and grandparents or whatever. Uh, whatever their family situation is and, and come on out. You know, we have a new location, so that's one of the things we wanted to stress this year. We are in the lobby and outside at Desert View Hospital uh, starting at 10 o'clock, but certainly those of us that are exhibiting and getting ready will be there a little earlier. So we're going to have lots of booths and exhibitors there as well. There's going to be some back-to-school supplies that they're going to be providing, right? Yeah, we've had some of our vendors, and they've gotten school supplies together, and we'll have backpacks for the kids. And um, like we were saying earlier, there'll be um, dental screenings and vision checks and um, 
bring your immunization cards, um, bring your birth certificates because we are providing sports physicals mm -hmm. for a low cost of $10. So if any of the kids are going to middle school or high school mm -hmm. um, and they'll need that before school starts so they can bring that information with them as well. And um, there's just a variety of community resources that will be there and the families and community can come out and, and get lots of information. Is there an age limit or do we just go throughout everybody who's in school? It, there's no age limit. It's from kindergarten to seniors. So everybody is welcome to come and participate. Wonderful. I know we have so many sponsors. Uh, just the list is amazing of people who, who are reaching out to the community. You know, it really, it's almost too long to list. But in addition to all of the great resources, there's also going to be some fun. There's going to be balloons for the kids. There's going to be hot dogs and, and free water. Uh, we even have some classic cars coming this year. And uh, hopefully we won't have any emergency situations going on. So we'll have the ambulance, we'll have the fire trucks, and we'll have the helicopter as close as they can possibly bring it to the building. Wonderful. That is going to be so great. So it's all this Saturday from 10 to 2, and we want to thank Nye Communities Coalition, of course. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, we look forward to seeing the community come out on Saturday. So Robin, did you get a chance to go outside today? Uh, I was stuck indoors the majority of the day and it was hot enough in there. Yeah, me too. I was stuck inside, so I actually have no idea what's going on out there. I, but you know who does? Zach Fuentes. He's going to have your seven-day forecast for you right after the break. News 46 weather is brought to you by Healthcare Partners Medical Group with five locations in Pahrump. Local doctors and professional staff providing total care from infancy to seniors. News 46 weather is also brought to you by your local dairy farmers. Dairy products are very important in maintaining a healthy body. For more information, you can visit their website at nevadadairycouncil.org. Welcome back. I'm Zach Fuentes here with your weather. Today we had sunny skies. We had a high of 100 degrees and winds coming out of the south southwest at 19 miles per hour. Our gusts were at 23 miles per hour. Our pressure is holding steady at 29.91. UV index is at 10, extreme. Humidity is at 14%. Our sunrise was at 5.53 a.m. and our record was 114 back in 1979. Tonight, we're going to have clear skies, an overnight low of 69 degrees, winds coming out of the southwest at 7 miles per hour. Our gusts are expected to be up to 22 miles per hour. Humidity will be at 11%, which is lower than it was today. Sunset will be at 7.47 p.m., and our record low was 58 back in 1937. Tomorrow we're expecting sunny skies, a high of 101 degrees, a low of 74 degrees. Our winds are expected to come out of the south southwest at 7 miles per hour. Our gusts are expected to be up to 20, excuse me, 22 miles per hour. Our humidity will be even lower than it was today at 8%. And our UV index is at 10, which is extreme. Sunrise is expected to be at 5.54 a.m. And our seven-day forecast, Saturday we're expecting a high of 101, an overnight low of 71 degrees. And that's kind of what we're looking at for the rest of the week up until Wednesday. And then Thursday and Friday we're back down into the double digits. And our overnight lows across the board are ranging from 71 to 73. And today's worst weather was in Iron Mountain, Montana, where they had thunderstorms. Back to you at the desk. SAFI is Southern Nevada's oldest nonprofit foster care agency. They're holding a special fast track training for new community members interested in becoming foster care parents. These will be held at Nye County or Nye Communities Coalition at 2280 East Calvada Suite 103, August 5th, 6th, and 7th. That's tomorrow, Saturday, and Sunday from 9 a.m. till 6 p.m. For more information, call 702-385-5331. And folks, Sharon Angle will be holding a book signing tomorrow at the Prump Senior Center from noon until 3 p.m. Shadow Mountain Feed will be hosting a low-cost shock clinic for all animals next Saturday, August 6th from 9 to 2 p.m. at the corner of Bell Vista and Leslie. Call 727-5527 for more information. And the Prump Community Library Literacy Program is looking for students. This is a free tutoring service for adults so call 727-5930, extension 19, for more information. And that's going to do it for this edition of News 46. I'm Rick Vale. And I'm Robin Christine. And from everyone up here on the Hill at KPVM, we wish you a safe evening, and we'll see you here again tomorrow night. Until then, good night, Rob.